Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to perform a Windows Autopilot reset from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. You may have noticed that there are plenty of reset options in the Indian portal when looking at a device like Wipe, Fresh Start and Autopilot Reset. Earlier, we had created one video on how to wipe a Windows 10 device from Intune portal. A wipe restores a device back to its factory default settings. This is what you should use for a lost or stolen device since data can't be restored. If we select Retain Enrollment State and User Account for a wipe, it removes the MDM settings like configuration profiles, apps, etc. and resets the OS but retains the Intune enrollment and user profile. This would be the same as selecting Keep My Files in the Settings app while resetting the device. Fresh Start is nearly identical to Wipe. Both options will restore a device back to its factory settings. The one difference here is that Fresh Start will also remove OEM preloaded applications. On other hand, Autopilot Reset removes personal files, apps and settings on a device but retains the connection to Azure AD and Intune. The key here is personal data. Autopilot Reset basically only removes the user profile instead of wiping the entire OS drive. This makes Autopilot Reset a sort of middle ground option where we are wiping a device and maintaining the enrollment state but not maintaining the user data. It sets the region, language and keyboard to the original values. Autopilot Reset also maintains the any provisioning packages applied SCEP certificates and Wi-Fi connections. Don't get confused with Autopilot Reset and Autopilot Deployment. At the end of this video, you will realize that both are different things. Autopilot Reset is the best option for reusing a device within our organization. We are basically removing the last user from a device and handling it right over to the next person with no extra work needed. There are two options for Autopilot Reset, Local Reset and Remote Reset. We can initiate the reset locally via a keystroke Windows plus Control plus R from a lock screen. After this, it brings you to an authentication prompt and you should type in an admin account to approve the reset of the device. Obviously, we don't want that enabled for every device in our organization, so there exists a policy that needs to be configured first to enable local reset. If we try the reset keystroke and nothing happens, we probably haven't enabled that policy on that device. The remote reset is a remote action inside of Intune portal where we select the device in question then click on Autopilot Reset and it sends the reset command down to the device. Resetting in this way avoids the need for IT staff to visit each machine to start the process. In the last video, we have seen the steps on how to enable local Windows Autopilot Reset. To enable a local Windows Autopilot Reset, we have configured the Disable Automatic Redeployment Credentials Policy. Link to that video is given in the description. Let's sign into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, Click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Select the targeted reset device. In our case, 
we will select our test device labwin 10 cli01 we can see currently this device is enrolled by test user 1 and test user 1 is the primary user of this device at top bar we can see the autopilot reset option click on autopilot reset to reset selected device with autopilot reset a message appears on the screen when we attempt to autopilot reset a windows device we can read brief information about what autopilot reset is going to do click yes to trigger a remote autopilot reset of windows device let me click on yes we can see the confirmation autopilot reset initiated and at top bar we can see the message autopilot reset pending under device action status we can see the date and timestamp is also logged along with the autopilot reset status so we have successfully initiated autopilot reset from intune portal now let's go to our windows 10 device we are not going for intune to send autopilot reset command to this device we will perform manual sync with intune to speed up the process click on sync after a few seconds there will be a windows logon reminder pop up we can see the notification about restart our system needs to restart for autopilot reset reboot is scheduled in 45 minutes after 45 minutes a system will restart automatically after restart the windows will start resetting this pc we are not going to wait for automatic restart i'm going to restart this windows 10 device right now okay currently this windows 10 pc is restarting as we can see the reset process has been started successfully this process will take some time to finish once the process is completed, system will start installing Windows 10 on this device. So I'm going to pause this video. Once we reach our installation step, again I'll resume it. Okay, as we can see, currently it is installing Windows 10 on this device. Once the installation process completes, we will reach on out of box experience page. This will also take some time to complete the installation process. So again, I'm going to pause the recording. Autopilot reset process has been almost completed on this Windows 10 device. Now we need to complete few steps on out of box experience to complete the process. First, we need to select a region. So I'm going to click on yes. Next, we need to select right keyboard layout. This is asking us that do you want to add second keyboard layout? I'm going to click on skip. Accept the Windows 10 license agreement by clicking on accept. Choose privacy settings for device. Uh, I'm going to click on accept to accept the default values. The process has been completed successfully. We can see the confirmation message. Success. Windows is set up and ready to go. Keep in mind that this device is still Azure AD joined and Microsoft Intune manage. So when the reset is completed, the user is presented with the Windows 10 login screen. All they need to do is login. This time we will log in to this Windows 10 device with our Azure AD user account named Taste User 2. Let's type the username user2 at msfsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com type user account password and press enter key to sign in after reset test user 2 is first time signing in on this windows 10 device so windows will start the user profile creation process we must configure a windows hello and set up a pin click on ok to set up a pin but first we need to complete the multi-factor authentication click here to get an OTP code on registered number to verify our identity. Enter the OTP code and click on verify. 
Now set up a pin for this user account. Click on OK. All set. Click on OK to sign into this Windows 10 device. We have signed into this Windows 10 device using the user account of Taste User 2. The last user's profile, all personal data and installed apps are gone from this device. Let's manually perform sync with Intune. Open Run menu, type ms-settings, colon, workplace and press Enter key to access Intune Sync. Click on Info. Click on Sync to begin synchronization with Intune. Wait for the sync process to finish because we want updated information in Intune portal. As you can see, the last sync was completed successfully. Remember, earlier Taste User 1 was the primary user of this device. Let's go back to Intune portal. Click on All Devices. Click on Refresh. Now again, click on our device name labwin10-cli01. At top bar, we can see the message Autopilot Reset Completed. Under Device Action Status, we can confirm that the Autopilot Reset completed successfully as status is complete. Check the primary user of this device. Now it shows that this device is enrolled by Taste User 2 and current primary user of this device is also Taste User 2. That means we have successfully performed Windows Autopilot Reset from Indian Portal for Windows 10 device. That's all for this video on how to perform a Windows Autopilot Reset from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.